Hey there, Navy Doc 5184 here. Welcome to another music reaction. Today we're reacting to Angelina Jordan performing Fly to the Moon on The View back in 2014. I cannot believe it has been 10 years since this whole thing has really started. I mean, she is a phenom to say the least. And I've been reacting to a lot of her more recent stuff lately. So I decided to go back in time and get back to when she was just a wee tot, like right when this was whole starting to take off. So really looking forward to this. This should be a really good treat we will go ahead and get started i will leave a link to the original video in the description below let's go ahead and get this thing started fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars let me see what spring is like on jupiter and mars I gotta say, I've always loved her choice of covers. And our words, darling, kiss me. There we go. My heart with song and let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. Such a young age, such and a great ear. All right, y'all, I gotta say, and I know I just briefly mentioned this, but I need to get more into it, and I just had to pause it just so I don't talk over her too much, but when I was talking about, like, it's amazing, like, the ear she has, you know, for the music and everything, I don't know if that's exactly what I meant, but it's, when I think about the covers that she chose to do with this, it's amazing how, I don't know if I want to say she adapted um, the songs to her style. I mean, obviously she had to, but it's just amazing how even at such a young age, she was able to choose just the exact right songs. And you know what? Kudos to her too, because how many eight-year-olds do you know would choose to cover a song like this on a national stage? You know, not too many, I would imagine, especially with the classic this is. And, th and this was 10 years ago, so this is probably even crazier to think about but i mean obviously the music style that she tended to gravitate towards to um way back then from what i've noticed you know it always fits and that's just to me that's just such an amazing thing to have such an appreciation for the older genres that you'd be willing to go out in 2014 and perform something like this on stage where i mean who knows how many people will care but the talent is undeniable. Well, I should say was undeniable. I mean, well, it still is undeniable. I mean, there will probably still be some people that probably really don't rate her high enough in terms of how great she is as a vocalist. But just as an artist in general, not just a vocalist, but the whole package, she has such a great ear. It's just amazing how even so young, it is so evident. Come on, y'all. You know she is killing this. You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. And I, I, mean, I know it's a TV audience, but still. Nicely done. All right, that was Angelina Jordan performing Fly Me to the Moon on The View from 2014. And I can't really say anything in terms of expectations because at this point, I'm just like, 
I, I would probably be more shocked if I find a song or performance of hers that I didn't like rather than something that I did or just found absolutely amazing. I will say this, I, it's like I still find myself really amazed now kind of going back. I mean, having seen a couple of her um, stuff when, when she was this age and compared to where she's at now, I mean, obviously the growth is so evident, but it is kind of nice to kind of go back and see it just I guess you could say just how far ahead of the game she already was and that's the thing I think I really appreciate about her the most and I think this really has a lot to do and I know this is something I harp on a lot when I react to her is I just think about all the people that were around her whether it's um, you know the label you know that releases her EPs and everything her family the fact that they haven't really rushed her to do anything you know everybody's kept you know made sure she's kept a level head and everything but with as talented as she was at such a young age but yet to have that drive to just get better I feel like that is just such a rare thing because what it feels like once people hit like a certain point or they realize they're like hey I am really good at this they don't think in their heads what can I get better at because I mean, if you compare Angelina, you know, back in 2014 to her in 2024, obviously you would hope that there has been improvement, you know, and I'm sure people are just kind of afraid to say it like that because, you know, so many people nowadays, you when you say something like that, it's automatically implied that, you know, they weren't good. I mean, you can be absolutely great at something. It doesn't mean you can't get better. And I think that's the mindset that she really adopted and I'm just going to say it probably made her mantra is that, you know, no matter where she's at, she can get better. And you can see that as her music progresses. Now, granted, I don't remember what year it came out. I still think right now when I really think about it, that The Shield, well, honestly, I take that back. Bad Valentine is really, really close to probably being my favorite Angelina Jordan song so far that I've heard but the shield is definitely up there like honestly that and bad Valentine probably flip-flop um, back and forth but even though that the shield is probably um, my favorite uh, song for hers like I can't deny that she has gotten better since then even and that is really a testament to her work ethic and I think that's something that needs to be celebrated you know it's just I don't know what the whole stigma is with people just trying to admit that. It doesn't mean she was bad back in the day. You know, kind of like when you compare artists, you know, it's like just because you say one person is better than the other, that doesn't mean you think the other person is trash, you know? I mean, it's kind of like saying, you know, like, it's like when you're comparing, comparing say, an A plus to an A minus. You know, some people, it's like, obviously the A plus is better, but the A minus is still pretty freaking good. You know, it's like, why can't people kind of get that when you make comparisons or especially when you see something that's gone on a 10 year journey? If Honestly, I'm, I'm just going to say this. If she didn't make any improvements in 10 years, what is she really worth as an artist? Because that to me shows a huge lack of worth or work ethic, shows that you're really just in there for the fame and everything and that you really don't care about your craft. So the fact that you know she has done that i think that's why i really enjoy reacting to her so much is because i can clearly see that this is something that she is very passionate about that she wants to get better every time she comes up with something new she wants to make sure that it's better than the last thing she put out whether it is or not is real i would say really up to the fans and everything but you know in her own mind i feel like you know it's just I've got to get better and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that as long as you know you keep it even kill and that's where her support group comes in where you know she just doesn't go absolutely nuts with it so I'll, I'll say that she is so lucky to have you know the support group she has I mean with the label the family you know if there are a lot more I mean I think about all the you know talented kids out there whether they be singers or actors that don't have that really type of solid support and look at how messed up they get, you know, when they become adults. And here we are, I mean, honestly, I just wish people could just look at her journey and make that the blueprint. It's like, 
okay, if uh, this kid becomes famous, this is what we need to do with them to ensure that when they become adults, they can still be, you know, productive, functioning adults without, you know, having to spend time to deal with trauma from, you know, fame as a child. I think they really did such a great job with her and I think it shows, you know, with her music now because now that she can probably focus more time, you know, with it, you know, but at the same time, you know, not be completely obsessed. I mean, it's just so beautiful. And just going to just this performance right here, I mean, you see so early on just how, like I said, ahead of the game she was. It wasn't just a matter of just singing the song right and sounding good, but, you know, the way she's enunciating her words when she does certain stuff in the song, you know, and even just getting the feel of it. I mean, at eight years old here, it's amazing just how much feeling that you can get when you hear her sing. And I know, I think she was nine years old when she did I Put a Spell on You, but I mean, good lord, find me many nine-year-olds that can do a song like that and the way she did it. I mean, good lord, Screaming Jay would have loved it, I'm sure. I don't see how he could, but whew, man, I, I gotta start digging into some more of her older stuff. It's so amazing, but either which way, that was a uh, fun to watch, fun to kind of go back in that time and just to see. I guess you could technically say where it all began because I think this wasn't too short or too long after uh, Norway's Got Talent. So in in a way, this almost does feel like this was a rewind to the beginning. And sometimes it is fun to kind of take that trip back you know and see where it all started and how everything started off but that was such a joy and i you know like i said i always enjoy reacting to her because i always leave feeling you know a whole lot better than when i started usually because she is just such a joy and it's amazing how great she is and so young and you know it's only going to get better from here so all that being said, I think I'll go ahead and end it there. And thank you all for uh, stopping by and checking out this reaction. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, feel free to subscribe right down below. And also hit the notification bell so you can be aware of any times I uh, upload any new reactions. And definitely leave a comment and let me know anything else you'd like to see me react to. And check out this playlist right here. All my Angelina Jordan reactions right over there for you. And uh, thanks again for stopping by. And I will catch you all down the road.